The military parade was initially called for December the 2nd to mark the 60th anniversary of the arrival of Grandma. The yacht which brought Fidel Castro and the nucleus of his guerrilla army to Cuba to launch the revolution. The parade was postponed after Fidel Castro died, now it's become a tribute to him. Taking the salute, President Raul Castro was also aboard the Grand Mar, as was Vice President Ramiro Valdez standing beside him. The event was also intended to send a message to the United States that Cuba is in no mood to compromise as it awaits the arrival of President-elect Donald Trump. Cuba, no va a a Cuba will not renounce any of its principles or concessions to its sovereignty and independence. It will not yield its defense of the revolution and its anti-imperialist ideals. At its peak, the Cuban army was 300,000 strong, a battle-hardened combat force which in the 1970s and 80s fought in the independence wars in Africa. Today it shrunk to around 45,000 personnel. There's a division of the Armed Forces Ministry called GAISA, the Business Administration Group. It's estimated that it controls around 60% of Cuba's state-run economy. It owns the new container port at Mariel along with major retail outlets, as well as the majority of tourist hotels on the island, including the one in Havana, now managed by Sheraton. The army also is known for good administration, for good managing of economic enterprises, for uh, the level of corruption being very low. So it, it, it is still, the army still plays a very important role. Joining the military on the march past were tens of thousands of ordinary Cubans under the banner We Are Fidel. A final mass show of support for the man now officially called the Eternal Commander-in-Chief. <laughs>